Hey guys, Mr. Mitchell here. Welcome to the sixth and final video in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the National 5 Physics exam. Now, what I'd recommend is that you make your own flashcards from these definitions by writing the word or term on one side and the definition or the meaning on the other side. So let's get started. To kick off the space definitions, we have planet, and a planet is defined as an object that does not undergo nuclear fusion, but orbits a star. Next we have dwarf planet, and a dwarf planet is an object that orbits a star and is similar to a planet, but is not large enough to clear its orbital path of debris. Moving on we have an exoplanet, and an exoplanet is a planet outside of our solar system that orbits a star, and the hint here is that exo means outside of, so that's a good way of remembering it. Next we have a moon, and a moon is defined as a natural object that orbits a planet. The next definition is an asteroid, and asteroids are objects orbiting the sun that do not fulfil planetary criteria. Moving on we have star, and a star is a large ball of hot gases that is undergoing nuclear fusion and emitting electromagnetic radiation. Next we have the sun, and the sun is the star at the centre of our solar system. And that brings us to solar system, which is defined as a central star orbited by planets. Next we have a galaxy, which is a cluster of gravitationally bound stars, gas and dust clouds. The next definition is universe, and this consists of many galaxies separated by empty space. And by many galaxies we mean billions of galaxies. Next we have geostationary satellite, and this is a satellite that has a period of 24 hours and orbits the Earth's equator at an altitude of 36,000 kilometres. So it's useful to remember these two facts about geostationary satellites, the fact that they have a period of 24 hours and an altitude of 36,000 kilometres. Next we have Newton's second law, which was also present in the dynamics video, and that's because it also comes up in the space topic. So remember this says that when the forces acting on an object are unbalanced, the object will accelerate in the direction of the unbalanced force. Next we have Newton's third law, and again this was seen in the dynamics video, but just as a reminder this says that if an object A exerts a force on object B, then B exerts an equal but opposite force on A. Or in other words, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. Again we have gravitational field strength which was seen in the dynamics video, and this was defined as the gravitational force or weight per unit mass. Next we have the light year, and this is defined as the distance that light travels in one year. And we say that one light year is equal to 9.46 times 10 to the power of 15 meters. You need to either remember this number so that you can do conversions between light years and meters, or you need to be able to get to that number using the speed distance time equation. And lastly we have the Big Bang Theory, and this is an effort to explain what happened at the very beginning of our universe. It suggests that the universe started as an infinitely hot, infinitely dense point, i.e. a singularity, which rapidly expanded and continues to expand and cool to this day. That's all for this video folks, I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.